Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. This reading is pick up a card reading and today we will check how your person feel about you. This is for people in separation and no contact. This is completed check for everything, how they feel, uh, what is their intention, how they see you, uh, what's going on in their life, are they in a relationship, so like a completed check about them, everything. So if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and press on the notification button. And uh, if you are interested in personal reading with me, you will find the information under the screen. Okay, we have three choices today. The brown stone or the good tarot, the green stone or the sacred circle tarot, the blue stone, the mystic Monday tarot. So you can choose by the deck or you can choose by the stone. So I give you a few seconds to choose and then we start. Okay. Now I will start with the good tarot, it's the first one, the brown stone. And let's see how your person feel about you. If you don't want to watch the shuffling and uh, put the card on the table, uh, you can just uh, scroll straight away to uh, the timestamp.
you got here three things can't be long hidden the sun the moon and the truth and this cards actually uh, uh, that is the sky or the clouds so this is mean that this person probably is completely hiding from you and hiding their emotion from you as well this is two cards but there are three things can't be long hidden the sun the moon and the truth and so i think that the truth is that this person is really loves you and here uh, roman tufted goose take heed of those who give you warning and soulmate uh, let me give you as well cards from Angel Answer and the Romance Angel so we can get the full picture. It's not the right time. True love. This is the romance of lifetime. Wow, you got two cards. The soulmate and the true love. I'm gonna check for you why it's not the right time. Is that because of you or because of them? And you got here that someone is giving you warning as well and you don't notice this warning. But the truth is this person really love you. And I think you love them as well. Okay now your energy it's important to check your energy so you know that if this reading is for you uh, this card is for you for advice we will read it at the end so now this is the two of earth so you're probably uh, very busy or very confused uh, or you you juggling you juggling thing is uh, you could be confused about this person you don't know how this person feel uh, behind that it is the nine of water so this is the wish fulfilled card uh, you probably see this person as uh, your wish this person you think that this person has everything you ever wished for but you a little bit confused about this situation you could be juggling options you could be in another relationship or uh, busy at your work or like there is something else you juggle uh, with this love and I think you confused about that person because you are in no contact at all uh, You probably don't know how this person feel about you So what is the truth about that? It is the three of earth and The king of earth this person could be in a committed relationship or very busy at work like having a business or uh, a career like uh, a successful career in high position or something and this person is really busy very professional or something very very busy a king of earth with the three of earth this person could be focusing on their career or the their priority is money or stability and or they could be in a committed relationship you could be both in a relationship it is the queen of water and like behind that the queen of water so this is means that this person really has a lot of love for you and and maybe actually as well guys that you could be you were married or you are married and there is a third party between you between you both you could be in a third party situation anyway so a queen of water indicates that this person have a lot of love for you and they hiding this love they don't show you their love maybe that's why you are confused okay so now you are uh, the page of sword or the page of uh, wand or the messenger of fire uh, and the reason for that it is the king of fire very interesting <laughs> so you are the messenger of fire because of the king of fire and you can see that king of fire has a heart it's different than the other deck, the rider weight. So I I'm reading the picture as well. So you can see that this person has wearing a mask, but his heart is a red heart. 
and the messenger of fire looks like that their heart is like their life is shining and everything is great but in the same time they hiding something as well they wearing a mask as well so you are probably hiding your emotion from this person as well but you are still watching them you still care and keen about them uh, that's because of you holding a lot of passion to this person and i think you feel that this person is lightening your life and lightening your head somehow uh, like you feel that you probably you think about about them a lot a lot yeah that's why you are confused but you you, you seem like you you burning in fire your heart is burning in fire for for their love okay uh, they have a lot of love for you they are missing you that is the six of water they missing you they feeling nostalgia uh, they love you a lot and they missing you they think about you and i feel that this person think that you are soulmate as well like this person think absolutely that you are soulmate because if you look or, or twin flame like it's, it's a strong connection because if you look at this photo this person look at the water it's like a mirror and it's reflecting their photo as well so they can see themselves in the water so they feel that you are mirroring each other uh, and there is a strong soul connection between you both and they think as well that uh, you have a strong, a strong feeling connection. You can feel that this person feeling a lot of love and uh, they like holding their, their tummy, like their heart, like a, a butterfly. Uh, while they are seeing themselves, they're not seeing you. So you, they probably feel that when they see themselves, they see you. When they see you, they see themselves as well. So they feel that you uh, mirroring uh, each other. So they have nostalgia, they love you, they miss you. You could be having memories uh, in, in a water, a place has water. It could be like going to uh, the ocean, going somewhere has water. And when they go there, they remember you as well. But looks like you have a, a, a lot of good memories together. Six of cups as well about kids, but you can see kids here. But it could be, as I said, if you were married and have kids, they probably missing you, missing the kids, missing the good time you've been together. You're having all together. How they see you? They see you as a page of earth. Actually, I think they see you as a light worker, as an angel. Yes, yeah, they see you as an angel, as a light worker, uh, as someone who uh, always look forward to their life. And someone who's a giver, uh, someone who's exploring always, like curious, curious, exploring, love to know more. But I have feeling that they see you as a light worker, as an earth angel, yeah, and very pure because that's a child. So they see you as like it's not the normal page of uh, of earth or page of pentacle. It's uh, the page of pentacle usually uh, like under 20, like e under 18. It's like teenage, but this is a child. So I think they feel that you are very pure, like an earth angel. What's going on in their life? It is the 10 of pentacle. That could be that they are in a relationship at the moment or they focus on their stability so le let me check that for you while i already have a card here for if they are in uh, a committed relation so le let me check that card for you first uh, if they are in a committed relation this one four of earth that could be actually four of earth is stability so if they are in a committed relation, could be they are in a committed relation. Okay, 
Okay, let me check that for you. Maybe this is why it's not the right time. No, no. They are not in a committed relation. No. No, they only focus on their career, their money, their finance, their stability. And here you can see that they are looking for a new beginning. And this is again the page of Pentacle, which is how they see you. So I think that this person is uh, focused on their stability and they thinking about being stable as well. So I don't think that this person in a committed relation at the moment. They could be only focusing on their work or their career. Uh, they starting a new business, new something new in their life. Uh, they could be looking for doing uh, something spiritual or uh, it's like a, a charity work. The three cards can indicate something like a charity work. And I think that the thinking about you to offer you something stable or start something with you, whatever it is, like uh, it could be even a, an, a, an apology or a present or they holding on to you, still holding on to you. And this is about you as well. Like this is you in their mind. And this is that they still hold on to you and the relationship with you because uh, here that they have nostalgia and they think about the memory as well. And they see you as someone who's very pure, like an earth angel. So I think that this person wants to have something stable with you. They thinking about you or the stability they had with you. If you have been in a stable relationship or a committed relationship before, they are thinking about the committed relationships they had with you but what i can see as a general from what's going on in their life is they are very stable at the moment and they focus on their financial stability home stability and they have started something new in their life and they are keep going with it this is could be something spiritual something um, uh, like whatever it is they are doing at the moment but they i think would love to share something with you or because of this stability or financial stability they are thinking about having uh, something new with you like offering you something new or a new relationship based on stability but this is all looks like a financial stability or money stability but still that two cards is like a new beginning a new offer even if you are in a committed relation at the moment you yourself or, or there is a third party from your side, because I can see you juggling, that could be uh, even an apology or having a friendship or maybe uh, share uh, any career or finance idea, sharing money, sharing uh, a business, or even just uh, the idea, sharing ideas. Are they in a committed relation? Absolutely no, because uh, this is the fool again, the new beginning, and this is a new beginning as well. And uh, success, looking forward, maybe they, they could be having uh, other people in their life, but it's not a committed relationship. Maybe, maybe, because this is the sex of one. They could be have followers, uh, have people around, maybe they talk to others, but it's not a committed relationship. They're not in any committed relationship. They could be just went out of something. And of, you know, like went out of another relationship. If you knew about them that they been in a committed relationship, they are not at the moment. So they having a new beginning and they they looking forward to their life. They having their success. And um, they could be talking to others, as I said, but it's not uh, any committed relationship. So what is their intention? Uh, patience. Yeah, maybe this is why that it's not the right time. Oh no, no, this is the true love. Ah, okay, maybe this is why it's not the right time. 
uh, this person probably want to have patient uh, patience with you or want to be patient regarding uh, the relationship between both of you that is their intention to wait or to be patient uh, let me see why you want to be patient because I think they are hiding or they have been hiding for some time and uh, they shy for some for some reason even so I can see that you have a lot of uh, fire and love to them as well but they they probably shy or they not trusting their intuition at the moment uh, I don't think they are hiding anything from you like a secret or something it's not a secret maybe the secret they're hiding from you is that they really love you and they think about you they probably watching you i think this person does not know what's going on with your life they could be really disconnected from each other and maybe that's why it's telling you here to take heed of those who give warning like uh, it's like uh, not as a science uh, if you block them, for example, open the blockage. Uh, if you uh, put something in your Facebook or on Instagram or any other social media, notice that they could be watching you, or they could be following you. They could be on you uh, already in your uh, on your Facebook, and you don't know maybe or on your uh, Instagram or any social media. But I don't think so because they don't know what's going on with you. If they are with you, they probably would know. So if you blocked them or completely blocked them or you are completely hiding, uh, just to try to give them a, you know, like a chance so they can know what's going on with your life. And don't give mixed signal as well so they can understand what's going on. So this person probably is very shy. Uh, maybe they are in their pride as well. And I can see that it's a page so this is could be someone who's not very mature as well. Maybe is not mature or just shy because they are in, in love with you. And uh, the moon as well indicates that they uh, hiding their emotion from you. They probably hiding themselves from you as well. Uh, they could be just thinking that it's not the right time as well. Maybe they need some healing or but I can see that they're doing fine here. Yeah, the four of pentacle indicates that they are looking at you, watching you. The ten of fire is uh, their next move. I think this person want to burn uh, all the past first, because you can see that this is paper and this girl or this woman, regardless it's a woman or a man, it's a uh, general reading for anyone. So this person is uh, burning all that paper and probably this is uh, what they carry from the past, between you both, from other relationships, from anywhere it is just the uh, bad memories uh, best problems so they want to get rid of all of this first and burn everything first before probably they take a move to you and you can see here that they have a lot of worries and uh, this is the justice as well I think that this person uh, trying now to clear their past they could be having still something in their life they clear it it, it doesn't have to be all about you like it doesn't have to be that they are upset of you or there is something between you both 
uh, because they have a very good feelings toward you and they see you in a very good light so it doesn't have to be something about you it could be something from their past their, even their childhood whatsoever uh, other people hurting them so they still thinking uh, some, some worries still and they want to balance their life and they want to get the justice of uh, anything in the past, just to get rid of it and balance themselves. Yeah. And what is the future for this relationship is the ace of water. So it is the divine love, the true love, new love. And you go here is the true love as well. So this relationship will have a very good future. So that will be a new love. That's the love will start again in a new way and will be wonderful. It will be the divine love, the true love, something you will really enjoy. The true love actually as well and the divine love is something unique. It's a miracle for people to get it or to have it. So enjoy it. Uh, the advice. That is the six of fire which is the six of wand. So you probably need to uh, focus as well in yourself at the moment on your career, on your success. Uh, just uh, push all the attention to yourself, focus on yourself. And if you are hiding or hiding uh, your emotion, hiding information from this person, uh, you, you did block them, you will need to <coughs> give them a chance and uh, let them know indirectly or, and as well don't give them a uh, mixed signal because I think you are confused and they are confused about you as well. Not confused about their emotion about you. They know that they do love you, but they don't know how you feel about them. And I think that this person wants to give it time or they want to be patient uh, to contact you or to give the relationship a chance maybe because of the ten of fire they want to burn everything in the past first before they come forward to you they want to come forward clear clean has nothing in their mind uh, nothing from the past from you from anyone they probably uh, are doing that the last healing because they think that you are a pure person very pure person you are an earth angel and they don't want to come forward with their past trouble or past relationship trouble, childhood problems. They don't want to come forward with any problem. But they are stable, they're doing fine, and they, they probably want to share you uh, this stability or share a stability, stable relationship with you. And this person is not with anyone. They, they are not in any committed relationship at all. Okay, let me give you your cards advice now. Hope is the conduit of miracle. Uh, vast, vit vast vitas, expand your horizon. So like have fun and enjoy yourself. Get out, it is the same as the sex of fire, is enjoy yourself, be happy. And this is light. Imagine yourself as a being composed of energy and light, because in reality, that is precisely what you are. You are a powerful being and the people are attracted to your brilliance. This is a time to remember how vibrant you truly are. That's the same. This is how they see you actually. That you are an earth angel. You are amazing and you're full of light. You're probably a light worker. Yeah. They know that you are a light worker. And that's a confirmation for you as well. Okay, number one, good luck. Let me know what you think about this reading. Uh, leave me a comment and tell me your story and if you didn't subscribe to my channel please subscribe and press on the notification button so i should see you next time thank you now we take number two let me just take all the cards away first you can always scroll to uh, the time stamp, uh, you don't have to wait for me to shuffle the cards. I just love to do it in front of the camera so you can see the cards.
Now, number two, this is a green stone. Uh, or the sacred circle tart, if you choose by the car, by the deck. Cards are flying. Okay, so now this three cards is your advice. So we read that at the end and let me read this for you. You got here the flower. Take heed of those who give warning. This is we go as well in uh, the first choice. Okay. So take heed of those who give warning. The situation will improve. Dreams. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. Okay. Now what can I see is, uh, you are, this is the web, it's number 11. This is supposed to be the justice, okay, in the normal uh, tarot deck. But I can see here that it's like uh, what goes what goes around comes around. It's something like that. Like you stuck, you feel stuck. You can't go through because of this web. So this web is indicating, and you can see here like a spider. So I I have feeling that there is. Um, like you are trapped in a situation in your life at the moment and you do have the knife you can do it like you can free yourself 
but you don't. And this web is being created by someone else. It's probably not you. There is someone around you who could be toxic, probably. Or you could be trapped in the memory because you have here forgiving and learning. So you probably is trapping yourself in the memory, in the past memory. And the reason for that is uh, the lady. Yeah, it could be, uh, maybe there is a third party between you both. Or the third party does not have to be uh, someone, like doesn't have to be another relationship. It could be anything else, like uh, the past memory. It could be someone from your family, from their family who came in between you both. Uh, it can be uh, the like trapped emotion as well. Like you can't open your heart or they can't open their heart. And this is what link is because I have feeling that there is someone was in between you both, was causing the troubles between both of you. It could be really a woman, doesn't have to be a relationship. It could be uh, a common friend, maybe. Uh, could be a, a relationship as well. It could be one of your family, one of their family. Uh, a, a colleague, someone we were both working with, if you've been working together, because you have here forgiving and learning. So this is, I, I have feeling that there is someone came in between you both. How do you feel about you? the knight of wand okay let me just check all the cards and how they see you the nine of wand what's going on in their life the king of wand interesting <laughs> they feel about you the knight of wand while they are the king of wand you could be dealing with someone maybe who's older than you or someone who could be your manager someone you work with and this person could be your manager or um, someone you've been in a committed relationship with like a husband or a wife So what I can see here, and you, you have here the bouquet of flowers as well. And dreams. Okay. This person feels about you that you are someone who's very passionate. Someone who's very, you did light their life. Uh, with passion, with uh, with love, with creation, uh, they see you as someone who is uh, very like maybe career driven. Maybe uh, they could be see you as I don't want to say that you are a player, but because they they want this relationship to be more mature, more stable. So if they want the relationship to be more mature they probably didn't feel that it was before and they see you as the knight of wand they feel about you the knight of wand they see you as the nine of wand and they are themselves as the king of wand so it's interesting that three are wands yeah 
again <laughs> yes they are yeah they see you as a knight of wands uh, someone probably indecisive maybe maybe someone indecisive or someone who's emotional not available um i i don't think they see you as uh, a player no i don't think so because they they don't feel that you are a player because they see you as a nine of wands so they probably feel that you are someone who's trapped in your past trapped in your past and you are trapped really with this uh, spider web you are trapped in your past or you are trapped in the past memory you had with them that could be the that person who came in between you both and uh, whatever that bad memory you had with them you are still trapped in this memory you don't want to free yourself you have the knife to cut the web but you don't you just look at uh, whoever uh, someone else or another person and you don't go through and you have your dog with you staying there you're not going through and not even your dog so i think they see you as someone who uh, did fight a lot in the past someone who got hurt in the past and because of that hurtful past you trapped in the memory they could be feeling that they did hurt you somehow and this is why you need to have forgiving and learning to heal the past and this is not only about you it's about them as well that's why they want this relationship in the future to be a mature relationship and you both deal with each other in a mature way uh, and i think they want to give you support like more emotional support because they think that you do have uh, a past hurt it could be from them it could be from someone else uh, other relationships they think that you still trapped in the past memory and uh, maybe you need a counsel counseling or more emotional support someone who is more loving more supportive because they, they feel about you that you are someone who is very indecisive about fall in love or about being in a committed relationship you don't want to be in a committed relationship or you are hesitant about them because of what's happened in the past you're still looking at the past and you haven't freed yourself from it and these two cards is both the same the knight of wand it's a confirmation and this is what's clarified more it's not about that you are a player or maybe you've been a player or something could be like you could be looking uh, out of the fence or something or you've been looking at other people because of the past hurt and you don't want to be in a committed relationship but they do understand it's not because that you are a bad person or you, don't, you didn't love them it is just because that you were scared of fall in love or you have been scared of what's happened between you both like whatever the bad memory or the past bad memory you had in the past that's why you couldn't accept their love you didn't want to have a committed relationship with them or maybe with anybody because of you are scared of going forward in a relationship but uh, this card is said recovery so they think that you have gone through a lot and uh, they see you as well now as someone you probably maybe when you met uh, you have been in a karmic relationship or you have been in uh, something in the past was very hurtful and you were just uh, finishing the, this fighting or just get out of something and you do your healing but you have been very protective because of that past hurt Uh, what's going on in their life is the king of wand so they are at the moment in their passion as well the same as you but they are not hesitant like they are stable they are not hesitant they're not hesitant actually about you because um, i put that one for are they in a committed relationship that is the seven of discs seven of pentacle probably not i think they waiting for you and they are still watching you it is a seven of pentacle and uh, this too indicates that they are uh, much more focused on their career as well they could be as i said they could be your manager 
or someone who has a business because the king of wands is a businessman as well but someone who has a mission it's not only a business it's a business with a mission or they are in a, in in a mission like in a career which uh, could be helping others or uh, a career which is uh, like uh, someone giving advices or it's like a high uh, high position someone in high position so they probably mainly focus on their career and on their work uh, on their mission whatever mission they do have but they are waiting for you and they watching you let me just uh, check this for you I think this person uh, have been out of something uh, was very sad, a sad situation. They just left something, uh, a sad situation, and they were uh, focused on their uh, stability. And this indicates as well that this person could be a counselor, for real. <laughs> that could be a counselor. Like if you are uh, waiting for someone or you love someone who could be work in any uh, counseling career, a psychologist or any kind of counseling or even a spiritual counseling, because this is means that this person is counseling or helping others to get stable in a business. Could be uh, like, uh, Someone is helping others to build up their business as well, a uh, business ad uh, like career advisor or something like that. Helping others who just uh, went out of uh, other relationships or went out of, uh, want to change their direction, their career, uh, people who lost money, uh, people who are hopeless, and they counseling them to build up their life again. That could be a career counselor or a counselor as a general. Because this is someone who is on a mission. Okay, so are they in a committed relationship? I don't think so. And I think that this person is waiting for you. And uh, they're still watching you. And they probably have been building uh, up something for you or toward you. Waiting for you to get out of the uh, whip trap you are in. And I want to know wha who is that lady because that's number three. This is probably the three of pentacle. I think it's a, a third party. Maybe you the one who are in a committed relationship. Because we have here the King of Wands and all, all the stubbornness, whatsoever. Uh, nine of Cups, Six of Wands, or you could be someone who's very stubborn. You don't want to forget about the past, or you have a lot of pride inside you, whatsoever. But this is actually, for some of you, indicates that there was someone in between you both whatever is that what's in between you it could be your bride in between you both oh <laughs> wow <laughs> we got again the seven of pentacle and the queen of soul you might be you already you uh, cut them off you did cut them off and they are still waiting for you they watching you they waiting for the right time to come forward because they think that you are very upset of them and 
you need time to free yourself from the past memory to forgive and to learn from the lesson looks like this person did learn their lesson because they are now counseling others they are in a king this is um, what's going on in their life now so they are now in the energy of a king so if they, they reach to the energy of a king they doing fine they are stable now Just get all this as well. Peace comes from within. Mm. It's about you. It's not about them. You're the one who upset of them, I think. So their intention is to give this relationship a chance based on uh, a mature relationship. And because probably they could be uh, like doing counseling or they are in uh, a position of counseling or they could be just uh, inside them the passion of counseling others guiding them uh, they know how to guide others they they could be as I said your uh, your manager maybe or could be someone just older than you or more mature or they learned in their life more they did their work they did uh, their healing so they believe that they could help you to go through whatever you are going through in your life at the moment and make this relationship more stable based on maturity So uh, their next move is the Six of Swords and the future of the relationship is the Sun. So this is something really good. Uh, but the main thing is your advice is the Queen of Swords which is imagination and I believe that you could be cut this person off already you the one who cut them off maybe they cut you off first but you cut them off at the end or you they cut you off and then you you cut them off completely so whatever has happened here that it's telling you to think about what you have done again so you need to do the healing forgiving learning and imagination is matched with dreams so you need to uh, have more uh, dreams or wake up your dreams toward life have hope and imagine your life with this person have it will how it will be if you forgive and you let the best in the past as a queen of sword it's not only about uh, cutting people off it's about uh, a good thinking about uh, being analytical uh, being practical thinking straight uh, being honest with yourself someone who's very loyal as well so if you have been in the past feeling that you are hesitant about being in a relationship because of uh, you are scared from the past or you will not trust others or you are trapped in whatever web is from the memory or childhood, maybe it's the time to free yourself and take the matter in your hand in a practical way. So uh, be thought, like have thoughtful thinking and have more imagination on a better future. So if you're still interested in that person, this person really is still interested in you as well and i think this person is willing to uh, give you a hand to go over the past if you willing to do it but i don't think that they're able to do it alone because you need to help them so take heed of those who give warning there could be a third party in between you could be doesn't have to be a relationship this is if this is a third party probably it's from your side it's not from their side it's from your side it's a general reading if it doesn't resonate this is just what indicate here it's from your side because i can't see that this person with anyone okay so it doesn't have to be a relationship it could be someone is talking in your ear for example someone you are listening to and is not giving you a chance to free yourself it could be your own thoughts your own negative thoughts your own negative pattern so you do need to free yourself from 
this web the web actually can be just repeat keep repeating the best memories which is uh, the bad memories from this person or from the childhood from or from anywhere and you just keep repeating it in your mind over and over again so you will never forget about it but it's telling you here the situation will improve so things will get better and looks like that this person will give you something good will give you flower or maybe you need to give them flower it's just like a present but you will need to forgive and learn from the lesson as well i can't see that this person need to learn a lesson or forgive at the moment because i think this person already reached to that maturity mature energy and they are hoping to have a mature relationship with you uh, based on good thinking good support and uh, the right love so at least whatever that person did maybe they did hurt you uh, probably they are like people hurt each other it's not the point the point is they did their work they are stable now and they are willing to help you and they waiting for you they watching you they waiting for you so you would need to do your work as well to forgive and learn so the situation can improve so do you work from your side and uh, you have here something very optimistic that the relationship will ha will be uh, based on clarity shiny a new beginning uh, the sun is about hope as well and about uh, a new day new beginning new love uh, it's uh, big hope so let me see your messages this comes from within yes it's from within it's from not from outside not this person who will give you the peace not this person who will heal you you the one who will heal yourself but this person is willing to give you the support but if you give them the chance because he is telling you to take action with passion like start take action and just be passionate about what you're doing uh, the gratitude life is one big continuous circle of giving and receiving energy be thankful for who and what's in your life instead of complaining about what you don't have if you focus on gratitude you will start to attract prosperity and abundance that's right so you could be the one for some of you you the one who are trapping yourself like you the, you could be the one the third part you yourself you are trapping yourself in the uh, like passive thinking you are not thinking positively you could be just thinking about the, like pessimistic being pessimistic about this situation or about life like i can't do it uh, everybody is the same it's always happening uh, whatever like you're not feeling happy of what you have so this is why you need to start practice gratitude life is one big continuous circle of giving and receiving energy be thankful for who and what's in your life even people who, who did us wrong they are in our life for us to learn something so we should be thankful for everything we, we don't understand it until later on we understand that these people are meant to be in our life to learn a lesson or to push us forward so be thankful for who and what's in your life instead of complaining about what you don't have if you focus on gratitude you will start to attract the prosperity and the abundance so be positive because the sun is about positivity as well so this relationship has a very very good chance if you just forgive play the best in the best and move forward i create mindful moments through the day reminding myself that i am love and the miracles are natural natural that's true like be mindful be mindful by the mean of to live the moment in this moment the present moment not in the past or not worrying about the future you can do the uh, mindful uh, meditation i will leave a link for the mindful meditation it's great actually i love it the mindful meditation is really really nice because it's make you live in this moment whatever you do now it's about the power of now 
has nothing to do with uh, what's in the past. I don't think in the past. I'm not gonna worry about the future. I will just think about what's happening now in this moment. I look whatsoever around me. So I enjoy this moment only. So this is will uh, give you a chance to get rid of the past memory. So to create mindful moment through the day, reminding myself that I am love and the miracles are natural. Okay, number two, all the best. So this person loves you, this person waiting for you, watching you, uh, probably uh, watching you on your social media as well, wants something stable with you. And this person wants to have a mature, stable relationship with you. This person wants to support you as well and want to give you an emotional support to go through whatever you have been going through. They want to help you to free yourself because they think that you are someone who's hesitant to take a decision toward the relationship or toward them or a committed relationship because you've been suffering and struggle with something in the past. But this relationship has a great hope in the future. If you just do your work about forgiving and learning and gratitude, uh, being hopeful and to take the action with passion. Okay, and you think uh, in a practical way. All the best, number two. I should see you next time. So please, uh, if you didn't subscribe to my channel, please subscribe and press on the notification button. And uh, please leave me something in the comment as well and let me know what you think about this reading. Thank you and I should see you next time. Now move to number three. Let me just put the cards away first. Now, number three, the blue stone. Ah, or <laughs> the Mystic Monday Tarot, if you choose by the deck. Breathe lightly on the earth. Wait. retreat it's time to disconnect from the world
morphemes. The way to happiness, live simply, give much, fill your life with love. This is your advice, actually. I will read your advice all at the end. That's very interesting. We're getting cards again. The same card from number one, number two. <laughs> That's interesting. So your energy at the moment is the magician. So behind that is the king of sword. And we have here the seven of sword and the star. Okay. You probably are dealing with someone who is very creative. Someone who is uh, like uh, an artist maybe or someone who's really a star could be someone who's famous someone very creative or very spiritual uh, your energy you could be uh, a creative person as well you could be someone who's very successful as well you could be working together you could be an artist you are focusing now on your career. You could be very spiritual as well. You focusing on your career, your success. You are in your masculine energy, regardless you are a man or a woman. You are in your masculine energy. What's behind that? Because you see this person as someone who uh, very career oriented, maybe uh, someone who they are uh, very focusing on their mind. They not focusing on love or emotion. You see them as someone who's detached, cold-hearted, uh, someone who's only uh, a thinker, someone who is a thinker. But I don't think you could be absolutely right about this person because this person is very spiritual, very creative, and six of cups. They are thinking about you a lot in a very nostalgic way. They're probably thinking about the time you were drinking together, the parties you had together, the fun you had together. So this is the Six of Cups. I don't think you see the situation very well, but I will believe that this person is not showing anything on their face. They're not showing their emotions. They're hiding their emotion. They, are, you could, they could be detached. True, yeah. they could be detaching their emotions so you can't see their love on their face. Maybe that's why you feel that they deserve that you are in your masculine energy. You could be having other relationships at the moment, talking to others or something, because that is the magician. But in any way, they tell you that to wait. So we probably been about to make a decision about that person or you want to cut them off completely of your life you already supposed to be not in a communication and you don't know anything about them like there is no communication but uh, or, or at least if you are together working together or something you you don't talk to them 
Well, you, you probably were thinking to cut them off your life completely and this is telling you to wait and focus on your dream you're probably getting messages in your dream you are someone who is very spiritual you are the magician you're very spiritual as well so look at your dreams you're probably getting messages in your dream you maybe don't remember it or you don't translate your dream very well or interpret your dream very well what you need to do is to retreat uh, take time out stay by yourself maybe hermit for some time go then think about it and uh, try to see the situation uh, for how the situation really is I, s I, f I have feeling that you have been in a time of depression you gone through a long time of depression and this is why it's telling you and self doubts as well because you got here the card to treat lightly on the earth you are someone know your worth or are you you huge like you great you are wonderful so trust yourself and treat lightly on the earth like enjoy it and uh, and you don't have to be uh, very strict as well like take it easy maybe this is why you need to retreat and go inside yourself and find peace inside So wait, wait. Oh, let me get this card as well. That is a cross. You're probably in a crossroad at the moment. That's why I was telling you to wait. You probably were about to make a final decision about this person or you have been thinking about this person and someone else or this person and something else you have been in a crossroad yeah yeah you are because you know the king of cups and the reason is the two of sword you have been uh, in your emotion at the moment uh, and you thinking things slowly between your head and your mind you try to balance the situation inside you and think about it because you are about to make a decision you are about to make a decision between this person and someone else or this person and something else or just about leaving that person completely or wait for them so it's telling you to wait. If you've been in a crossroad making a decision regarding this person, so it's telling you to wait. The energy of any reading I'm doing is two months. I'm not asking you to wait forever. It's just uh, any reading is two months. But end of day, it's uh, a general reading and it's uh, your decision. You're someone who has a free will you mature and you're the king of cups as well you're very mature so you probably it's your decision yeah. mm. you are in a crossroad because you're feeling that you have been defeated maybe by this person probably by this person you feel that you have been defeated by this person it could be a third party or this person maybe were on and off or they left you suddenly or something has happened from this person or you have heard something about them and you felt that you have been defeated by them and it's been probably a long time that's why uh, you are now in a crossroad and thinking about to make a choice you're in a time of making a choice of cutting them off your life completely so it's telling you to wait don't make the final decision now uh, how they feel about you the six of pentacle they feel that you are someone who's great someone who's very balanced someone who uh, is very good with money someone who's blessed as well blessed with money blessed from god uh, someone who's uh, balanced between or know how to make a balance between the give and take 
uh, someone who's very generous and knows how to uh, help others and support others as well. Yeah, someone with a very good heart. And I think they see you as someone who's always people come for advice. People ask you for advice. You always have a lot going on and you know how to balance it. Balance, me, no, it's not the two of pentacles. You can balance six. Like look at this card, someone who's able to balance six things in the same time. So someone who's very balanced, someone know how to balance the, everybody around uh, with their good heart. I think that this person felt as well that you balanced them somehow or you did give them the balance. You taught them how to balance themselves inside and how to find the peace and the balance around them and inside them. Yeah, because they see you as a three of one, someone is able to make decisions. Someone is very good uh, and like uh, someone who is very precise, like knows how to take the decision very well. Someone as well who is uh, curious about life and very passionate. Yeah. <laughs> Someone ha knows how to get out of hardship situations and uh, move from the Ten of Swords straight forward to the Ten of Pentacles, to the stability. Because what you have gone through in all your life. So you know what you want and you always look forward to your life and you don't settle for less. You only get what you think is the God for you. You know how to make choices very well. And you don't accept just anything. Okay, what's going on with their life? It is the five of pentacles. This person probably even struggle with money at the moment, or is he feeling lonely, sad, alone, is he depressed, or they have a loss somehow. Maybe that's why it's telling you to wait because they maybe have lost something, like lost a person, a pet, something. Wow, they're very sad. This person is very lonely, very sad. They're crying at night. They're thinking about you a lot. Wow. And um, they probably in their emotion. They f maybe they sad from you, sad about you. Let me check this. Do you really feel lonely? Hmm. They thinking about how the life will be if they've been with you. So this is could indicate actually it's not a financial loss. I don't think this is financial loss for this person because they have the Ten of Pentacles. It's not a financial loss. They're missing you. Okay, let me get one more card here. Yeah, they're thinking about you a lot. It's eight of want. And they, uh, they're probably sending you energy. And they're having dreams about you. Uh, they thinking about you a lot, a lot. The eight of one, and they missing you. They probably don't know what's don't know what's going on with your life. Okay, let me check why they not contacting you if they think about you all of that much. Because uh, let me check first what if they are in a relationship. The sun.
But what is their intention is the devil. Wow. <laughs> Wait, I just check the rest of the cards first. Their intention is the devil and uh, their next move is the Ten of Pentacle. And the future of the relationship, very good, is the Princess of Cups. And your advice is the death. Let me read your advice cards. Unknown territory. And you are exactly where you need to be in the unknown territory. Okay. And here, this is probably something spiritual. Spiritual because it's telling you about your third eye intuitive knowledges intuition is the language of the soul we are all born aware with a profound sense of inner knowing intuition is one of the greatest gifts we possess which keeps us connected to our higher selves the universe and to our divine spirit so it's telling you to focus on your third eye and your intuition because your intuition is guiding you and it will guide you in this situation because you are in a crossroad and you thinking about to make a decision and you probably while you're making this decision you're thinking about the bad memories and this is not actually how to make the decision because if you think negative about someone you probably your action or your decision will be negative you should take out all the memories first, clear it out of your mind and think like a, ju um, a judge. The judge does not have emotion while they're making their decision. It's not based on emotion. It's based on analysis and based on uh, their mind, facts. I'm not saying that you shouldn't be emotional, but you should be intuitive. That's the point. To put your intuition, how your heart feel by intuition, not by emotion. Emotion bring up wrong answers. Okay? So this is what it means here. Intuition actually is very important to put your intuition in every situation, but not your emotion. Okay? And here is telling you, I create mindful moments. Again, wow! <laughs> we got that card again. I had that one in the second choice, in the second stone. I create mindful moment through the day. Remind myself that I am love and miracles are natural. The way to happiness, live simply, give much, fill your life with love. Yeah, that's what's all about is to forget about the past. First, at least, before you make up your mind or take a decision. You need to clear it anyway for yourself. It's not about them. It's about yourself. Whatever you heard about, about them or you heard from them, you told them uh, what you feel about them, you felt that you def they have defeated you. Probably that's how you feel, that they defeated you. Or you, feel, uh, you felt that there were a defeat situation because of something you have heard about them or heard from them. But that's no, that won't be the right time for you to make up your mind or take a decision until you do this healing first. Or at least you're able to detach from your emotion and just put your intuition. And this is one is telling you that you are exactly where you need to be at the moment. So you need to focus on this right moment, which is to be mindful. So not about the past and not worrying about the future. Uh, and I said in the second choice here, the second stone, second reading, uh, about the mindful meditation it's great so i will put the link anyway down i put it in the first comment and in the description box as well some resources about uh, what is the mindful meditation and uh, some resources about from the, from youtube how to do uh, mindful meditation it's very good actually make you focus only on the moment the power of now just now because this is the only fact is we are in now the past does not exist and the future does not exist either. Both are illusion. But the only moment I, like, I keep, I hold, I have for real is this current moment only. That's the only thing I have now. Okay, so I was about to check here. Why this person feels a five of pentacle? 
and the eight of pentacles as well are they with someone in the sun okay the king of wand this person actually have a lot of passion toward you it could be sexual passion as well and they missing you a lot and the eight of wand indicate uh, like kind of uh, sexual energy as well it's a lot of thoughts anyway emotion uh, uh, lots of thoughts uh, it could be because with the king of wands that could be as well uh, sexual thinking but what's interesting here is that their in, uh, intention towards this relationship is that the bill Their intention is the devil. This person might be in uh, in a relationship. Even the sun is indicating a new beginning and a new life, but it comes with the seven of wand, which is keeping the garden up. And this is someone who's already guarded as well. And it is the two of cups. So probably this person is in a committed relationship. And they might be uh, not happy in this relationship. They could be they missing you and they think about you a lot. But they could be already in a committed relationship. Or if this person, you know that they are not in a relationship and you, you've been together like in a committed relation and you separated, but this is, could be that this person hoping that they can be in a relationship with you and having more clarity or renew this relationship with you because they think about you really a lot. There is a lot of uh, they sending you energy as well. They probably telepath with you. They are telepathing with you. And this is why it's telling you to open your third eye. It's a general reading, so uh, I will tell you everything I can see here. So take whatever it resonates with you. For some of you, actually, this person could be already in a really a committed relationship. For some of you, this person is hoping to renew the relationship with you uh, based on more stability and one-to-one uh, -one relationship which is means the equal cups probably this person felt in the in the past that there were uh, a defeat somehow maybe they felt that they defeated you they probably felt that they defeated you and they could be one just uh, defend themselves at the moment and have something stable with you based on equal cups like equal give and take or equal responsibilities uh, but they still wishing to keep their guard up because because maybe what they did with you if they have done something upset you or hurt you or maybe if you hurt them as well or you did hurt each other they they hoping that they can have a new beginning with you or having a new life a new beginning in their life and they wishing to be with you in a committed relation based on equality but in the same time they want to keep their boundaries and integrity in the same time their intention is the devil actually this person obsessed about you obsessed really about you it's the obsession obsession they obsessed to have you uh, this person their intention is to uh, make a transformation a massive transformation uh, but they still and I think that person wants to give you kind of a support or ask you for support. 
whoever can support the other if you can so because i can see you here you are the king of cups so you are a supportive person already someone who's like a counselor uh, someone who is stable in their emotion so they could be uh, in a depression at the moment and they they could be uh, want to ask you for support for your support yeah because they they are depressed and they sad if you for example like a psychologist or someone who's giving counsel counseling to others they might seek your counseling uh, and they hoping as well to uh, put everything in the past to rest and have a new beginning but i can see that this person is like has kind of obsession or maybe they, they could be having addiction that person if you know about them that they have any kind of addiction because we got here as well that the king of want if they've been a struggle with uh, any kind of like sexual addiction or any kind of addiction they are hoping or their intention is to get rid of that uh, addiction and being able to be independent uh, as well they could be wishing to have uh, a kind of financial stability with you a kind of work uh, situation if you are if you can work together they could be hoping to work with you and build up something no like uh, everlasting with you but based on a financial stability you both support each other or maybe one support the other with whatever you both have like if you have money or you have counseling you support them with your counseling with your spirituality with your love whatever and they can support you with something but i think this person is not a struggle with financial problem i don't think so let me type check their finance for you what, what, what kind of support is he seeking from you the two of cups mm, they seeking support yeah they want someone to balance them this person i don't think they are balanced at the moment at all they think that you the one who can balance them they think that you the one who can balance them or they think that you are their soulmate you the only one who can balance them you are their other half you completing them you completing them yes this is what they think that you completing them that's why they feeling crazy about it they thinking about it a lot they probably think about this connection this person has with you they probably feel a soul connection with you and this is like make them crazy they don't know what's going on because they have they feel that connection no matter how long you've been uh, away from each other this person feel a strong a strong very strong spiritual connection with you and they feel you as well so this is why it comes here with that the, the, they want to figure out why they are crazy about you or why they think about you a lot or why they couldn't take you off their mind even if they're not showing it this person actually thinking about you a lot a lot yeah and they have a lot of passion about you and it's the king so it's very mature emotion toward you like they come to affect that it's something out of their hand so this is why they think that you're the only one who can complete them like you are like a soulmate or twin flame or like you are their other counterpart probably so they want you to balance them okay and their next move is the ten of pentacle so they will move to be in a stability with you so you could be hearing from them if you uh, if you have been in uh, already in a committed relationship together before or marriage or something like that this person is willing or wishing from all their heart to get back to you uh, if uh, and you probably will think about moving uh, if you haven't been in a committed relation they were probably thinking about living with you or you move together marriage it's some it's a stability so that is their next move is 
to move to a stability with you, stable relationship with you, committed stable relationship. This person is obsessed about you. <laughs> it's obsession. <laughs> They're very obsessed about you. And this is a soul connection, a very strong soul connection. And uh, this is a soulmate or twin flame for me. It is the, the spirit connection. It, it doesn't matter to be a, a soulmate or a twin flame. It's a, a very strong soul connection, very strong. Any love, any soul connection is a soul connection, regardless what, how can you name the relationship. So it's a very strong uh, soul connection. And this person it wants to come fast to you and have a, a stability with you. But I still have feeling that this person, regardless of what they want, they are wishing to keep their boundaries. They are wishing to keep their uh, freedom or... Uh, it's not about talking to someone else or having a third party or anything. It's just uh, keeping their freedom, whatever. Like they want still to be free, a, a free soul or able to express themselves or make their own choices or... Maybe this person is uh, like scared of uh, being with someone or is scared from a relationship or committed relation. So if you see them as have defeated you before, or you think that they, uh, you have heard something about them, felt that this has defeated you, this person probably is, uh, is scared of a relationship, scared of someone can control them probably. Yeah. They are worried that someone can control them. Let me check why they are scared of that. I don't like the devil when it comes in any reading. It's confusing. Princess of one. Oh, <laughs> the princess of one. <laughs> this person probably is, like, because we go here, the king of one as well. Uh, the princess of one is about success, uh, about being magnetic, uh, someone who is uh, very successful. Uh, attractive, uh, probably um, very career oriented. Uh, it could be someone who has followers, but it uh, could be someone who's very creative, uh, an artist, a uh, dancer, something, and they have lots of admirers. But that does not mean that this person wants to be with someone or want to flirt with others, but just as they want to keep themselves as free as they are to make their own choices. It doesn't have to be someone who's very famous or anything, but just someone who values themselves, values their freedom, values their choices, and they want to keep themselves as a free soul who can make their own choices, have their own sound. Just they don't like to be chained. It's the princess of one, that's all. Yeah. So now you know why. And uh, the relationship, the outcome of this relationship or the future for that relationship will be the Princess of Cups. So this is mean, um, it's the Queen of Cups. So that is the unconditional love. That's a great love. And the forgiveness as well. So if you still haven't forgiven each other, probably you will be soon having that forgiveness and able to love unconditionally. Regardless of, because I have feeling for this uh, reading that you both guys are different in your nature. That's why this person thinking that you're completing them. Two of cups does not always mean that you both having the same cup. What you have here is what you have here. No, it's just the balance. That what you have here is what it's balancing what the other person have there. So this is how I feel about this reading. What you need to do here is massive transformation. Put the rest, the, the best to rest and start new from scratch. Start fresh and forget about the past that annoying you. And just probably wait till and retreat. Uh, Treat lightly and dreams. 
So have hope in the future. And uh, make the changes you need to make in your life, in yourself, uh, regarding this relationship, this person, and maybe uh, with that con unconditional love, I think, guys, you will need to accept each other's differences. You could be have different mentality or different way how you how you look at relationships. So maybe this person want to have like more freedom in the relationship, and you want uh, a more stable relationship or the opposite, whatever. So. Just think about it and trust your intuition. Focus on your intuition, actually. All the best for you guys. And let me know what you think about this reading. Leave me something in the comment and uh, tell me your story as well. I'm enjoying reading your stories, actually. Uh, and you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and press on the notification button. And if you're interested in personal reading, you will find the information under the screen. All the best for you and I will remember to put the link for the mindful meditation because I promised number two as well. So if I forget, please remind me because when I do the upload, I sometimes forget what I said. So remind me that I said I will put the uh, mindful attraction, the link for the meditation and uh, the description of the mindful meditation, how you do it and what it is. M being my mi the mindfulness, it is the mindfulness, how to be mindful living the moment it's great actually peace of mind <laughs> so uh, remind me if i forget all the best for you thank you for watching and i should see you next time